Hi, I've got this uh, fridge I use outside for a kegulator and I want to convert it to a fermentation uh, uh, fridge. At the moment I've got a something like an STC one power stand in this, in this uh, waterproof box here. And what I intend to do is to take uh, a square out of this and put the actual control panel at the front here and then move this device here to the top so I can actually control it from control the wall a little easily exactly when it's stuck, stuck to 12 degrees to kind of set a uh, condition and temperature which is good but um, I want to have more control so what I'm going to do I'm going to put a wire up on the junction box up here to the top then from this box here I'm going to run a power supply an electric power supply out of it for a heater which is actually going to go inside the bridge and uh, I'm also going to run this uh, thermometer cable here from, uh, from here still, but inside the, inside the fridge. At the moment I'm going to fry the uh, drainage plug, which is okay, but it's not a really good solution. Okay, so I'll, um, I'll take you through the processes and I'll show you what I can. Right, bye. you what's in here, um, there's an earth, the blue is the neutral, that's the live, and this is the new cable I'm going to wire onto this here. Um, I've actually overridden some of the main wires which actually come from the inside, things for the door and the, the old thermostats and all that, that's all gone. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is to wire this to that, there's some junction boxes, I'm just going to solder these ends up the same as that there. And um, I'm going to move this, this thermostat out. I was putting it through the drain hole up there, which it's not a good idea. But it was a good idea, but uh, not now. Uh, and I'm just heating a soldering iron up here to solder these ends up. I'll come back to you when I'm soldering these ends, if that's actually physically possible with the phone here. So now I've actually uh, wired all these together. And what I'm going to do is pop it inside this little junction box here, which I've got. Um, I think I'll put that junction box inside there somewhere out of the way. Yeah. I've uh, wired all that together. Both these ends are secured now so they can't pull out. What I want to do is push this into the back of the system here. And that. Also, I'm going to uh, rubber proof some of these junctions here so you no know, water can actually get in there. But, uh, I'm going to elevate it like this anyway. So water, any water that's coming down here would dip off here. Nothing will really get in there. And obviously we'll go put these here so nothing else can get in there. And that should be good. Right, see you in a while. I've slipped a freezer bag over the top here and cable tip, cable clipped on both sides. So that's uh, completely watertight now. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is just to cable tie this <coughs> cable back on the end here and then we'll get to the top where we can actually start doing uh, some more of the wiring with the um, junction box or the, or the thermostat. One thing I might do actually is use this very similar idea here by sticking it inside of a bag and uh, cable tying it all up to us all nice and water type as well. Okay, um, what I've done, I've got the uh, unit set up here. Um, I've got the cooling going up here. This is the heating. Here's the um, thermometer cable. And this will be the power coming in. I'm going to put my uh, uh, thermostat here. I found that the uh, size here is not... Uh, 
wide enough to actually get the front pace onto here, which is a slight error on my part. But what I'm going to do is, so, but what I'm going to do is to uh, just cover this paste up here, and this will be sealed up at the top here, so it all should be quite watertight. Now I, I've got a, uh, a one which has actually only got a cool and a heat on one cable. So what I would need to do is to stick a switch on that to switch between heating and cooling, and then I'd have to mess around with uh, all the other stuff. So what I'm going to do for now is just put it on so it heats. And I obviously want to keep it about 18 degrees. And I'm buying an order SCC 1000 later on in the week when I get paid, and um, I'll wire that up in, in the place of it. And it all should be fine, and it should look after all the heating and cooling for me. Okay, so um, obviously, what I'm going to do here there's a common wire here, which is the earth, that's all going to be wired together. And I'm just going to wire up the heating at the moment. This isn't actually going to be used just yet until I get the new unit. So uh, let's wire this together. Um, I've just finished off the wiring. I'll just show you what I've done. Uh, see, there's the thermostat. This is the mains coming in here. I split off to live, neutral, and the earth. The earth will go straight to the uh, heater. The neutral is common, so it goes off to the heater, and also it goes into the neutral on the uh, thermostat. And the lives, um, one live goes to power the thermostat, and one live goes to number one, which is the uh, power in of the switch. The power out of the switch comes out and goes down to the heater to obviously turn it on and off. That's obviously a separate connection there just so you can see that. Uh, now all I need to do is to set this to heat mode because it's on cool mode before and test out that it's actually working correctly. And also I uh, got a bit of a heat Robinson hole here so I need to just quickly once I've sealed the unit back up just to actually have a way to insulate this and stop it from being any moisture from getting in, which hopefully should be quite straightforward. But uh, I can actually get my finger in there to actually do the controls quite easy, so I might have some sort of flexible membrane on there which I can actually control that with. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. So, um, this is it finished off. Obviously, I've got, to, I've got to get rid of my gas out here, look. That needs to be taken inside for my kegerator. This is my outdoor socket, which uh, I'm just going to seal this up. And here's the connection here. Power coming in, cooling, heating, and the thermostat going off down to the kitchen. Into the thing there. Uh, inside here, there's the heater. Oh, this is nice and toasty now. Here's my IPA from yesterday. Um, I may actually get an airlock and pop that in there, but at the moment it's sealed up nice and happily and hopefully the beer will get nice and warm soon. Um, and the temperature is actually just slowly ramping up now. There you are, look. Okay, I'm just going to seal this end off here. I think um, I may get a plastic bag on there, a nice elastic band around it. <laughs> and. Uh, I can actually take it off when I want to then because I'm not going to adjust it that much. I think obviously I'll, I'll ramp it up to finish off fermentation once after a few days are gone and but apart from that most of the time it's just going to stay like that. Right, well, that's the end of my little video. Hopefully the next thing I'll be doing is drilling a hole inside of my uh, kegerator in the house but uh, I'm a bit reluctant to do that at the moment. Maybe that's a project for next weekend. Goodbye.